How's it going, YouTube? Uh, it's Jared here with uh, You Don't Panic Productions. Uh, it's been over a year since I recorded last. Um, Bam and I, we moved to Oklahoma with my job. Uh, been here for quite a while. Uh, we have been busy. Uh, due to COVID, we haven't had any live auctions, but we've done some, uh, we've done some online auctions, and uh, you'll see some film about that here in the near future. For today, uh, I'm actually going to be starting with some, some reviews for reselling uh, equipment. I uh, got a new thermal laser printer and I've got uh, the absolute cheapest labels I could find with good reviews. So we'll be talking about those and putting that through some uh, through some torture tests. We'll be starting with uh, the label range LP620. I couldn't find any reviews about this printer so we're going to check it out. I bought this from a fellow eBayer um, to support them but I will have my Amazon affiliate links uh, in the description. And then we have the RBHK 4 inch by 6 inch uh, thermal labels. Um, all right, let's get into it. All right, so to start with, we have the label range LP620. This is a 300 DPI thermal laser label printer. Uh, this retails about 179 on Amazon. Uh, it fluctuates uh, throughout the season. Uh, let's see what we get in the box. You got a manual. Fan fold labels to start with. Power cable. Sort of a USB drive. I'm guessing this is the driver. USB cord. And the printer is. The rest of the power cable. So, nothing fancy in the package. It is a uh, well packaged. Uh, made the trip all the way across the states with no problem. If I read the manual, I'm not going to do that. Right, has a little self test. Um, we will hook this up and I will actually print some actual customer sales um, to show you guys how it performs. Here we have the RBHK 4 inch by 6 inch direct thermal labels. I got a total of 2100 total labels for $11.99. Came out to less than 0 0.06 cents a piece. The cheapest I could find and they had good reviews. These are, these are well packaged. Again, this came from across the country. Uh, MFlabel.com if you want to order direct. Uh, links are in the description for Amazon. And we will test these out. And I've got a bunch of torture tests that I'm going to show you with these guys to try to answer all the questions you might have regarding these labels. All right, so setup on these. Looks pretty straightforward. You got your power, your USB, uh, your power switch. You got this. Stuck to my hand. Um, this paper roll, I custom fab these. If you want one, about $40. Um, this is not just an old plastic bin and a hanger. Oh, you know what? Help if I plug it in. Yeah, I probably should have read the manual, but we'll figure this out. All right, got the USB plugged in. Let's see how easy setup is. Uh, we got a Windows folder here, so we'll just open this. Windows driver and a standard executable. Oh, 
I guess it just puts it under printers. There it is, LP620. So all right, so this doesn't do inches, it does millimeters. Uh, I've already looked these up. Uh, four inches comes out to 101.6, and six inches comes out to 152.4. So it looks like we'll be going with a 100 by 150 millimeter. It looks about right. I think that's all the options we have. Yep. Um, this printer will go all the way up to 4.7 inches apparently, and you can go pretty small with it as well. Not going to do anything advanced except maybe test page. And well, let's print a test page. Oh, yep, yeah, just spit out a page, no problem. Um, cut a little bit off down here. We'll play with that. I mean, this wasn't a label. Uh, they've got some labels on this USB drive, though. So let's see if that prints correctly. All right. All right, so... Everything's in the label, barcode's sharp. So I'm gonna print a bunch of these and get set up for the torture test, but everything worked just fine and I'm gonna print off some eBay labels. Print. Remember, $40 plus shipping gets you one of these paper rolls. pretty fast. Um, some people might need faster, but there is 10 crisp test labels, which we will put to use. Oh, and this paper tears really easily. Hopefully that's not a sign of any sort of quality to worry about. Um, yeah, let's uh, print off some real world labels. And it's still set up for the old labels. Don't think that's going to work. Oh, you know what? I think I need to set up label options inside of eBay. I don't know what the you want to hit the... Just stop the recording while I figure out what the fuck is going on here. Make sure when you go to print in eBay that you set up your uh, label format on the right hand side when you go to actually purchase your label. All right, label looks really good. I'm not gonna show you the front to protect the customer. Um, one thing I noticed printing off some of these uh, test prints is that this doesn't always pull cleanly. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, so I'm guessing that's a, just gonna be a learning curve on my part. Um, print one more and uh, then we'll set up for the torture test. So for my torture test, uh, we're going to do a couple of things. I see a lot of uh, reviews on a lot of these labels that talk about the label fading over time. So we're going to set up uh, a couple of tests here. Uh, one label is going to go right onto the box with nothing else. The other one is going to go right next to it. I'm going to put some tape over the barcode because apparently that's where things get faded. This box, so I'm not going to put it outside because it's definitely going to get wet. Um, I'm just going to put it in front of a window and let it get a, basically a week of sun and see if these labels fade out. For so this one, this is the more interesting test. Not very scientific, but it's going to be the torture test. I'm going to put two labels on here. And I'm actually going to throw this in my dryer to simulate your favorite package carrier. Um, and we'll see how these hold up. So here we have the mail handler, package handler deluxe simulator, patent pending. Let's put this to... See if I can figure out how to do this. So 45 minutes, just air, and all right, FEO package.
All right, so I mean, that seems to have worked pretty good. It's been about two weeks. Um, ended up uh, kind of procrastinating a little bit on this project, so I've got a few more days um, worth of test data. Uh, and there was another test that I did. Uh, I didn't show it on camera, but I applied a label going across the corner of a box because I know some people have some trouble with, uh, with that on their labels. So here we go. Here is the box with the labels applied. The one on the right is the one that has the tape going over the barcode. As you can see, barcode is still perfectly readable. Um, yeah, overall, no problems at all with these labels. So two weeks in the sun did not hurt them at all. Uh, here's the one I did on the side. So did find it had a slight pull up on a corner for a label placed on the box. The rest of the label seems to be all right. Um, but that was definitely flush when I put it on there. So something to be mindful of. I don't ever, I don't ever put labels on anything like this anyway. Um, but depending on the package size, you might, might have that as a concern, but that's been on there for about 10 days by itself. So, um, it's, uh, we still probably make it to its destination. Oh, so, uh, last test we'll do on camera. Um, I've seen this in some other videos where people had problems with the labels. Um, we're just going to do scratch test. So this is a hard steel, um, star bit, as you see, does not pull up the uh, label whatsoever. And you can see the indents in there. Um, so, all right, here is the torture chest from the washing or dryer. So this went through, uh, you can see it in the video, uh, just like this, and absolutely no problems. Um, no fading. This was actually like that, I believe, uh, when it printed out. So, so there you have it. Um, RBHK direct thermal labels. Uh, those are definitely a win. I don't know, you know, so this was filmed uh, late 2020. Uh, prices could change, but these are absolutely the best bang for buck, and these labels are more than adequate. I've already sent a couple dozen packages. They've made it to their uh, destination, no problem. And the tests show that overall they're, they're very good quality labels. The label range, LP620, works great. Uh, we've had one jam with it, no idea why. Uh, could be my, my janky roll setup, but uh, it was easy to clear. Printer has saved us a ton of time already. We're very happy with it. It's an excellent purchase. Uh, these these are not paid endorsements or reviews or anything like that. I'm a relatively new reseller that uh, uh, is interested in, you know, making the the best I can out of the the money I invest in the business. So uh, I think they were both very good purchases. These labels absolutely um, are uh, the cheapest I could find. Um, I don't remember what it came out to. It was some ridiculous, not even just over half of a tenth of a cent. So uh, that's pretty darn good uh, and way cheaper than any other label I could find. It's even cheaper than the labels I've been pumping through the inkjet, um, but the ink is what gets you on that. But this printer is absolutely a time saver. We can do all of our printing right from the shop now, not having to go back and forth through the house, save a ton of costs on ink, and it's, you know, it's thermal technology, so it should be a lot more reliable. So uh, if you wanna see more reviews, uh, or equipment you're looking at, you know, just let me know. Until the next video, I'll see you.